Good evening, Arlington. Uh, this is the May 1st, 2017 uh, meeting of the Board of Selectmen. We are meeting at 7.15 p.m. in the Selectmen's Chambers on the second floor of Town Hall. A week and a half ago, I found myself having my lunch in a corner bar in Key West that, where Ernest Hemingway did a lot of his writing. And so tonight's inspiration is from Papa himself. There is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow men. True nobility lies in being superior to your former self. Thank you for indulging me these <laughs> few moments. Would that be better if we had drinks? <laughs> I had a sloppy Joe, and I don't know if that was a comment on me or the establishment. So. I hear the painkillers are good down yeah, there, yeah. but go ahead. <laughs> okay, so the fir first up on our agenda, uh, we had tabled this item from um, the last time. We have a request for approval, a uh, public art display on the Minuteman Bikeway, and we have Cecily Miller and Adria Arch. And we're, and we're just about there on the AV. So who's who's going to start in, Cecily or Adria? Sure. Okay. Thank you. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm Adria Arch, and I'm chair of Arlington Public Art. So thank you again for um, all of your support, and it's just really been um, very gratifying that way. And uh, so we're excited for a new project um, to propose a series of temporary uh, installations, art installations on the bike path. So this is almost a first. I think mm -hmm. Cheerful was really the first on the bike path. And you gave us permission for that about uh, six years ago. So uh, we've graduated to um, uh, bigger and better projects. And so Cecily Miller, who is our um, public art uh, manager, director, um, has uh, been working very hard to identify some very exciting um, temporary installations that will grace the bike path this summer. So I'll let her take it over. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for bearing with us, little technical glitches, but this way folks at home can see what we're talking about. So um, this is actually a partnership of um, Arlington Public Art and the Arlington Commission on the Arts and Culture, which is pretty exciting. It's the first time that these two organizations have collaborated. And um, one of the initiatives of the, of the commission was to apply for a designation of a cultural district, a walkable area where there's art and culture that might connect the center and um, Capitol Square. But one of the uh, important criteria of a cultural district is that it be very walkable with art all along the length of the district. So we came up with this idea of citing artwork on the bike path as a, a, a route that pedestrians could make their way from Capitol Square towards the center and enjoy art along with the natural beauty of that path. And by coincidence, it's also the 25th anniversary of the bike path. So it's a really nice synergy to pick this as an opportunity to get art in, out into a public place heavily used by lots of people, both from Arlington and away. So we're just doing a small section. We're starting you know, with a modest budget and testing out the idea and seeing how um, people like it. So the locations are going to be between Linwood Circle and the Kickstand Cafe. Uh, our goals are to bring public art into public space where town residents and visitors can enjoy it, to develop art installations which prompt people to connect with nature and um, the social world around them, to contribute to making a festive celebration for the 25th anniversary, and to enhance the connection between the center and Capitol Square. Uh, and I should say, we've um, right away, Adam said, very important to meet with the Bicycle Advisory Committee. And we've done that and gotten a lot of advice from them on how to do this safely, how to not obstruct, how to not distract. Don't want any people sort of reading complicated poetry on the bike path, that kind of thing, <laughs> and getting mowed down. So um, we've taken their concerns into account. And the first piece is called Flutter. Um, this is uh, two artists, Michael Moss and Claudia Ravichier, and they've actually installed this piece once in Fort Point. It consisted of a hundred of these plexiglass butterflies on a chain link fence, and there are areas of chain link on the bike path where there's a um, car underpass going under the uh, bike path. So that will be the first installation, and that will go up as soon as we get approval. Essentially, the artists are ready to start 
putting that up. And it's kind of a nice spring, um, nice spring imagery. Then um, a piece that will be on the, on the surface of the bike path, but in sort of bold, large letters, um, is being developed by um, Arlington resident Nilu Muchala, who some of you will remember from the Wheat Paste project that we did in Capitol Square. She did all of the interviewing and writing up the um, stories of the different store owners and designed the wonderful zine. Um, so she wanted to do something exploring the way in our federal national debate. There's a, um, a lot of polarizing language that's kind of uh, making people feel like they're either part of a group or not part of a group. Um, and so she's playing with word pairs that suggest the way uh, people break down a continuity of experience into opposites. Is she going to use, if I could ask her a question? Yeah, Mr. please. Yep. Are, are those just suggestions, or are those all the word plays are opposites of what Those are thinking? ones she's thinking of, and she has to refine it down to a list of about 15 pairs. Mm -hmm. So, and she's also, I should say, going to set up um, tables, both at Feast of the East and also on one day on the bike path to talk with people about the project and explain it and invite people to invent contribute their own pairs of um, language, of words, so. I guess my only thing would be just to pass along, because I know she's not going to use all of those, is uh -huh. um, I would go with, because um, it's going to inspire a lot of conversation and, and why they're out there and stuff like that. Right. And I guess if you said, what were my bottom two on that list? Okay, let's hear it. It would be bad, good, and us, them. Well, I think we should have coffee yeah, and yeah. talk about it. Seriously, because yeah. I Only think... Only because of the some divisiveness that kind of does exist and people who don't know the background of why these words are going out there. So, that, uh -huh. But let's you and I talk about that. Let's yeah, and, and maybe get yeah. Nilu yeah. into, the, into the discussion because I think um, you're putting your finger right on what this project is about and we do want people to think about it and talk about it, but you're right there's not a way to give context, all, you know, to anyone who but comes it's your on the path. In the end. I was just, just I saw the list. You said you're not using them all. Yeah. If you said what were your bottom two, that would be it. But we'll talk later. And I think time. bad good is already out. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. I know I'm making a lot of that. I'm no, just, I'm I, just. As I say, I think you're that. This is sort of what, you know. Uh, it's, it's about issues that are sensitive in some ways, and, and we see people coming together around this polarizing, and we also hear people talking about the fact that they can't come together. So that's what this is, is looking I mean, at. Is it done in a, uh, a paint that will then have to be removed? It's being done with spray chalk paint, oh. so it has a temporary life, and she's actually testing on her driveway some of the different brands because some of them are reported to last longer, some less long. We're trying to come up with something that might last for about a month maximum. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I think on this, uh, thank you. I think uh, my only comment, I think, on this one is, is not, I'm not worried about the conversation, so that, I'm only worried about, I see one there is left, right, I'll be concerned about anything that might be <laughs> misconstrued as a direction on the bike path. <laughs> Yes, yeah, yes, right. And we, we had in, out at one point and realized, no, yeah, not yeah, a good yeah. idea. That's, right? the only, that's exactly. my only comment on it. <laughs> so. um, and then the third pop-up is, uh, there's, this is actually an artist from London who is documenting, so we have, this is kind of great, we have an Arlington artist, uh, a pair of artists who live at Four Point, and then are trying to do a cultural exchange with a London-based artist who is a street artist like Cedric Douglas who oversaw the wheat paste project that we did in Capitol Square. And he is interested in the urban wildlife in London and doing this whole series of animals who live in the sort of places in between in the parks and backyards of the city. And Arlington really is a place that still has a lot of habitat for all kinds of wild animals. And I, I, I was on the path um, a week ago and I saw a bald eagle catch a fish in Spy Pond. He just swooped down and grabbed it. And, you know, I, my sense from talking with residents here is that this is something people are really proud of. 
um, that there is this, that nature has been preserved here, and yet there, there's sometimes a little bit of une uneasiness about the coyotes or, you know, our, our, how do we share our space? And so this is actually our second time of installing foxes, uh, because last year, around the time of the Fox Festival, another artist, Rachel Mello, made um, a set of a fox family that we've since has been donated to the Fox Library. Um, so this will just be uh, a small fox, wheat pasted, so the artist Stewie's going to mail it to us, print it on paper, and we're going to wheat paste it to this second underpass, like he's just trotting along on his uh, on visiting. And it will be around the same time we're going to do the Fox <coughs> Festival Parade again. And I think Joe is still checking his schedule to see if he can be a, are you going to be a um, grand master, a uh, parade marshal? You're not sure if you can do it yet? No, no, I, I'll check the schedule. Yeah. We'll talk. Um, and then um, Adria Love has this one. agreed. Love this one. Yeah, the, so these are two inspiring <coughs> examples um, from. Uh, uh, group knitting projects put together by Magda Sayeg. Um, she's an artist from Austin, Texas, who does projects all over the country. And thinking about um, one of the things that's wonderful about Magda's work versus uh, some knit bombing is that it's strongly conceptualized by an artist and designed by an artist. And then anyone from the community can participate in knitting. And they, they everyone who participates gives things a little bit their own spin. And so I asked Adria if she would be willing to design and lead a project like that, knowing she's like the perfect person, the sort of art pied piper of um, Arlington, and knows everybody, and uh, is a wonderful teacher and mentor, and so she's agreed. So she'll come up with a design for a um, little stand of trees, and then we'll be looking for Anyone in Arlington who wants to work with Adria to contribute to the project? And we figure we can have 20 to maybe 50 knitters participating. And um, do you want to talk about your thoughts about it? Or So I'll just say that what she's thinking is that each community knitter would sort of be in charge of a tree, of making a sleeve for a tree using a color palette and patterns that she sets. In the old days, town meeting went long enough that you probably could have produced all of those. It's <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> um, and then uh, in the fall, we're going to bring an artist in residence named Frank Vasello, who works uh, entirely with natural materials to build something site-specific, a site-specific work of art. Um, one of the big concerns of the bike committee, as I mentioned, is that people not stop in the middle of the path and mm -hmm. look at artwork. And so we found this great site to the side of a stairway that goes down to the playground and down to Spy Pond. So the work can be viewed from the stairway and also from below. Um, and he'll just sort of weave it down the hillside, weave it around the trees, gather all local materials. and. We're planning to try to do a lot of workshops. I've talked with Dave Ardito from the um, public school system. He's really enthusiastic about having some of the high school art students meet Frank, maybe do a project with him. Um, and we'd like to get others like uh, also um, the Arlington Center for the Art is, is also really excited about maybe doing some family programming where people build with natural materials. So it's a great, um, not only a beautiful sculpture that he'll create, but something really nice to get town residents involved. So I think that's it. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you, you for your patience. Much. I know it's a busy time. Do my colleagues have any questions, further questions or comments? Move approval. Second. Motion. A second. <clears throat> yeah, I, I just, oh, Mr. Greeley. Well, are you looking for more artists or are you full? Um, we're looking for more artists, but I'm not kidding. for this year. I thought you meant I'm Annie. Kidding. I'm no. kidding. No. Well, my wife. But His she, wife is are, are you, this, but that, are you, that looks fantastic. Thank you. I was I, thinking maybe you were a whittler. You were going to offer up your whittling <laughs> skills. <laughs> I'm no? not touching that one. I can barely walk the book. <laughs> um, and, oh. I just wanted to note two things about this project. I, there's a lot that I like about this project. Uh, um, quite a bit, but I like the fact that you're trying to make that connection between our East Arlington and the center, because as you both know, more, you know, maybe better than anyone, 
our currently pending application for the Arlington Cultural District encompasses both those areas. That has been one area of concern. We weren't, weren't sure if we'd get the thumbs up for a district of that, that size because it does have to be walkable and have some things in the middle so that this, this creates a great connection. And on the theme of connections, I'm so happy also to see that the three main public art agencies and in, in um, organizations in the town, the, the ACAC, the Cultural Council, and, and APA working together on this. I, th I think it's uh, fantastic. That, uh, yes, and, and that. I really should have given heartfelt thanks to the Arlington C Cultural Council for their grant for our pop up, the pop up portion of this. They, they were really generous. I know they had a lot of requests. They felt like it was an important project. And um, so they're making the first part of this possible. And then we're doing fundraising for the second part. Great. Um, can I mention one of the quick thing? The, um, uh, n the National Park Service has a, um, a program where we can, the Arl Arlington Public Art and the town of Arlington can apply to them for technical assistance. Uh, it's a competitive process, but they've expressed interest in working with us for this and future pro projects on the bikeway. And so um, we'll <coughs> be put, we, if that seems like a good idea from the town's point of view, and essentially all it is is agreeing to get help from the National Park Service, assuming there will be a National Park Service, we all hope in the future. Um, they will help us with everything from sort of project design, fundraising, uh, organizational development, long range planning, community engagement, all kinds of projects. So um, if that seems like something that you can endorse, then we'll bring back a, a letter of a draft of a letter of support. Sounds great. Sounds great. Do we have any other? Well, motion to approve. You've got yeah, 10 we've got more the minutes. You've got to get down. Motion on Ms. Going on by 20 of yeah. eight. <laughs> Ms. Mahan, seconded by Mr. Byrne. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much for all of your support and Great. really a Thank pleasure you. working with you. <clears throat> Thank you for all you do. Thank you. So next on the agenda is approval of treasurer bond. I have Mr. Heim on here. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this is really a formality. Uh, the treasurer, as required by Title I, Article IV, Section 4 of the town bylaws, as well as by state law, must have a bond to cover anything if something should happen to the town of Arlington's funds. Uh, the bond has, for as long back as anyone can remember, been a $150,000 bond. However, the bond company requires a certification that that is the amount that this board has affixed as satisfactory. Uh, unfortunately, because it's been so long since the, uh, we've, we've had a change in treasurers, nobody can find any certification that would allow us to sign this in good faith. So all I'm asking the board to do tonight is to certify that it's a fix, that it's satisfied that $150,000 is sufficient for the treasurer's bond as required by the town bylaws and state laws. And I will note that Mr. Michael Morris was very uh, helpful in confirming with the Department of Revenue that $150,000 is generally in line with what towns accept and require for this type of bond. Okay. Move to certify. Move. Okay. Okay. I have a motion on Mr. Grilly, seconded by Mr. Byrne. Do we have any discussion? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? It is so passed. And uh, lastly, we move on to <clears throat> uh, articles for review. We have uh, a warrant article hearing, uh, acceptance of legislation, special education reserve fund uh, Article 27. Um, Mr. Hayne, are you here to speak on this? Yeah, yeah. please. Uh, on behalf of the Arlington School Committee, we're asking for your support on this. Uh, Mr. Heim, I assume, gave you uh, this document. Yeah. It says it far better than I can. One of those rare times I won't speak. <laughs> Move Mr. approval. Mr. Chairman, may I quickly? Second. Okay. Sorry. It's moved by Ms. Mahan, seconded by Mr. Grilly. And Mr. Heim. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted to point out that I made a slight revision to Article 27, the uh, comment to note, uh, I had noted that the majority, uh, that the school committee uh, needs to accept 
this along with town meeting in order for the acceptance of legislation to create the reserve fund yeah. uh, is necessary. But I failed to mention that it is important that not only the school committee, but the board of selectmen approve a transfer out of the reserve fund once it's established. So once the reserve fund's established, not only will the school committee, but this board will also be required to approve taking money out of it. So it'll work very, very similar to our stabilization fund now, except the sort of safeguard will be that both the school committee and the board of selectmen have to approve uh, basically transferring money out to pay for special education costs instead of town meeting. Okay. Hey. If I just may. Mr. Hainer. Yeah. The, I assume the special education director would be coming to us once they've sat, she, the position satisfies us the need for that, yeah. we pass it. One of, one of several of us will come to you and ask for your support in that going forward. Good. Thank you. Uh, so, so Doug, that's, that approval structure, that's a part of the state law? That's correct, Mr. Okay. Doug. Okay. Uh, so it's interesting because it's a different structure than we're used to because our reserve funds are usually, uh, you know, most of them are approved by the finance committee and the finance committee is uh, like, at least on the letter of the law, cut out of this one, but I'm sure by practice we can include them. Does that sound right? I guess I'm looking at Adam for that. I, 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 yeah, I wouldn't see any prohibition to include them. Yeah. And, it, and it, it certainly would be wise to at least keep them closely informed, reg regardless of whether or not we ask for a vote. Yeah. Just, Mr. just for clarification, this is money that would already be uh, established. Yeah. yeah. So in, I, I get it. Uh, however, even things, for instance, where the money is already established, like the reserve fund. I have no problem with yeah, that. Yeah. I, 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 it, like, so the town meeting appropriates the money into the reserve fund exactly. and then the finance committee releases it. In this case, town meeting would be appropriating it into this special fund and then it would be the school committee and the selectmen are releasing exactly. it, which is unusual, but you know, uh, we can handle it. I think it's important from my perspective as an individual that we have this check and balance between the two boards. And I think that's, and I, I really appreciate that. Great. Thank you very much. What, Mr. Greeley? Uh, Bill or Doug, t help me understand what this, the balance of such a fund may not exceed 2% of the annual net school spending of the school district. Right. That, that so your total budget, 2%? It would be about $1.6 million. Yes, well, if I may, I, yeah, Mr. Chief, so net school spending, uh, Arlington spends more than its net school spending requirement. Okay. So net school spending, I, I don't have the figure in front of me, is probably actually closer to what, 50, 52 million? Yes. So it's probably, um, what, what the math of that is, about a million dollars yeah. that would be kept at. I was thinking of the gross, I apologize. Yeah, no, yeah. it's okay. <laughs> but net school spending is a formula that the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education issues for every district statewide. Okay. Just, just to be clear, it's more than what's currently available to us. I don't, it's my desire not to even go near that, yeah. that amount. <laughs> Any further discussion or questions? Okay, on a uh, motion by Ms. Mahan, a second by Mr. Greeley. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? And it'll be my intention if this comes up this evening, I think I will move to postpone to Wednesday so that uh, members have an opportunity to, to, to review our uh, recommendation and, and I guess the staff will help us to make sure that that gets distributed to town meeting. Thank you, Mr. Members. Chairman. Yeah. Thank yep. you, members of the board. Great. Absolutely. Move to recess to town meeting. I have a motion by Ms. Mahan. I have a second? Uh, second by Mr. Byrne. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The Board of Selectmen is now in recess and will uh, reconvene concurrent with town meeting.